In this video on the Ellen Chrome 5, we will walk you through the light's main interface, menu functions, and best practices while active charging. See the chapters in the description if you would like to jump ahead. First, let's mount the light to a stand. You can mount the light traditionally using the vertical receiver, or you can mount the light straight up and down using the horizontal receiver. Useful when you want more clearance. Once mounted, this handle locks in your desired tilt and the handle kips for easy tightening and positioning. This lock guarantees your light shapers lock securely in place. And below it, there is a receiver for mounting an umbrella to keep the light as centered as possible. The battery has a power indicator on the bottom and easily slides into the bottom of the unit. On the bottom of the unit, you will find the USB-C charging port and sync outlet for third-party radio triggers. Now, let's look at the interface. Simply hold the power button down approximately two seconds to turn on the unit or to power it down. As you follow along this section, if there is an item on the screen you don't see, turning these options on and off will be covered later in the menu section you will see that radio is on frequency one, group one. The running person icon indicates that it's in action mode for faster flash durations. The note indicates that the ready tones are on. The chasing arrows and the word fast indicate that fast recycling is turned on. The light bulb indicates if the modeling light is on or off. The Bluetooth symbol lets us know the Bluetooth bridge is active. And all the way to the right, we have the battery indicator. Now, in the middle of the screen, we have the output level, which can be set in watt seconds, a 1 to 10 scale, or the Ellen Chrome scale, which is relative to any Ellen Chrome light ever made. Below that, you have the flash duration, which is relative to the power the light is set to. And below that, you have the indicator for how the arrow buttons below will react, either allowing you to adjust the light in full stops when on the main screen, or back and exit when in the menu screen. The main dial will test fire the light, adjust the power in one tenth stops, or allow you to navigate the menus. Next, we have the favorite button, which can be programmed to change between flash modes, recycle times, flash before ready, skyport group, photo cell on or off, or background. Here we have it set to groups and can easily switch between groups without needing to go through the menu. Then we have the modeling light button. It allows you to turn on the modeling light with a short press and go into the modeling light menu with a long press. In the modeling light menu, you can adjust the modeling light power. Press the left arrow to enter the menu. Then the center dial allows you to scroll through the menu options or press it to select an option to change its setting. Mode allows you to change between free and proportional. Free allows you to control the modeling light independently from the flash power. Proportional changes the modeling light brightness in the same increment as the flash power. You can turn VFC, visual flash control, on or off. This turns the modeling light off until the flash is fully charged and ready to fire. You can set a timer to automatically turn the modeling light off after a time of one to 60 seconds useful when you want to preserve battery power on location. Next, set the scale to EL scale or percentage. And below that, you can change the color temperature to your desired Kelvin. Now we will guide you through the menu button. First, we have radio settings. Mode allows you to turn the radio from normal or off. Group allows you to choose groups one to four. Frequency allows you to choose frequencies one to 20 and the Bluetooth bridge allows you to connect to the app for remote access to the lights and firmware updates. And use wireless update to download the latest Bluetooth bridge firmware. Next, we have the flash menu. You can choose between standard or action for increased flash durations. You can choose recycle time as fast or eco for increased battery life. You can choose flash before, if no is selected, the light will not fire unless it has been fully recycled. Lastly, you have scale. When set to EL scale, it will be relative to the power output of any past Ellen Chrome light, even if they have a different overall power rating. 
When set to 1 to 10, it sets the maximum output number to 10, and all the power settings are relative to that. And when you select watt seconds, then the power will be displayed in watt seconds. Photocell allows you to turn the light slave on or off to simply fire your light by it seeing another flash fire. Next, we have extras. Auto standby lets you set the time in minutes from off to 1 to 60 minutes. Auto off is either set to off or you can set it from 1 to 60 minutes. Just remember the auto off cannot be set lower than your auto standby setting. Auto on will automatically power on the light when connected to power. So if you have them connected to a power strip, when you turn on the power strip, all your lights will power on. Favorite K allows you to assign a function to the favorites button labeled with a star. EL logo mode allows you to set the logo brightness to low, high, and off, or low on ready, or high on ready. EL logo color can be set to white or the predefined color associated to each group. Ready tone allows you to choose between one to 12 ready tones once the light has fully recycled. Ready Volume allows you to choose between Max, High, Default, Low, Min, or Off. Error Volume allows you to choose between Off, Min, Low, Default, High, and Max. Now let's look at the Info menu. This will tell you the name of your five unit that can be charged in the wireless Bluetooth app. You can see the current firmware version of your light, your Skyport ID, the lifetime, how many times the unit has been powered on, and how many flashes the unit has done. The Ellen Chrome 5 can actively charge the battery as you are using it to give you a similar experience to using a studio light. When plugged into the 65 watt charger, 26 watts goes to powering the modeling light, and the remainder goes to charging the battery, so the modeling light isn't draining your battery as well. This concludes our walkthrough of the Ellen Chrome 5. Thanks for watching.